Hi there, Jen Roque here at Stamp Camp with Jen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. If you're new here, I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you'll join us and you'll invite your friends to join us as well. We have a lot of fun making new projects each week. So today I have lots of um, fun news to share that just kept popping up throughout the day today when I was working on projects. Um, there's a stamp and storage sale that's coming up this week. There is free shipping on Wednesday with Stampin' Up. Um, so if you guys have been waiting for a really good deal, um, this week is the time to get your stamp and storage favorites on sale or to get a good deal on shipping with a, an order um, through Stampin' Up. So. I hope everybody had a great Father's Day yesterday. We had uh, a big cookout at our house. I always love to host. So we had my in-laws, my parents, my daughters came down from Gainesville um, and they surprised us and spent the night last night. So that was really fun. So um, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday too. Did you do anything fun? Um, it was really hot down here. My dad and uh, Ethan swam in the pool a little bit and we just ate a bunch of delicious food and relaxed and it was really nice. So um, now I'm just looking forward to, you know, getting projects done this week and um, Ethan's got like, he still has to do reading over the summer for school. So he's like, all bummed because even though it's summertime he still has to read and do tests on books and stuff like that for school but it's really not that big of a deal we're going to SeaWorld on Thursday that should be a lot of fun just summertime's always a great time to just hang out and enjoy the weather and enjoy you know fun times outdoors so hopefully it won't be too too hot when we go to the parks this week but we'll see all right so i'm going to turn my camera around so you guys can see everything and then if you have any questions let me know i'm always happy to answer any questions you have um next week i will be doing an opportunity night presentation talking about why becoming a demonstrator is the best deal um, and reasons why I love being a demonstrator. So if you have ever wanted to ask me anything about being a demonstrator, that is the time. So bring your questions next Monday at 7 p.m. We'll be talking about that. Um, that is really the best time to ask me live, um, ask me any questions about um, joining. So, so like I said, this Wednesday is going to be free shipping. So if you use my host code, I will also send you a free gift and a handmade card as a thank you for ordering with me. So um, I have, will have this plastered all over my website. So don't forget, use that host code when you check out. You have to use the host code and your order has to be at least $75 before tax to qualify, okay? And then I will send you a surprise gift in the mail as a thank you for shopping with me. But that's only on Wednesday, okay? Then starting Wednesday, also June 21st through the 26th, Stampin' Storage is having a mega sale. They're going to have site-wide 15% off plus daily door busters that are 20% off. And then if your order is at least $150, um, you'll get free shipping um, in the 48 United States, okay? So, and then Friday, there's a mystery um a mystery item that's on sale. Uh, so be sure to check stampcampwithjen.com on Friday for that mystery sale, okay? But Wednesday's the big day. And a way to save even bigger on Wednesday is to use your designer series paper sale. Get a bunch of that while you get free shipping. That's a, a good way to kind of combine those savings and save even more when you shop, okay? Plus, you'll get a free gift from me. Uh, if you're going to be in the villages around July 8th, join me for Stampin' Bingo and my Big Bogo sale. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. You have until June 30th to sign up and let me know. It's $50, uh, but we play eight games of bingo, seven regular, and one blackout game. There's big prizes, lots of chances to win. We make cards in between the games. It's just really a lot of fun. We have a great time. So if you're interested, reach out to me and let me know. I'd love to have you join us. And then July 6th 
is when the new online exclusives come out and they look like they're holiday themed. So I'm, of course, really excited about that. I was laying in bed last night scrolling through my phone and all this Halloween stuff kept popping up and I was getting so excited about it. I'm sure it's probably way too early for a lot of you guys, but I'm already starting to get in that holiday mode. <laughs> it's not even the 4th of July yet. So anyway, July 6th, you'll be able to see the new online exclusives. And please remember that these are only while supplies last. There's no guarantee that they will be reordered. So if there's something you really like, get it early um, before it goes out of stock because there's no guarantee that they'll order more. It's really while supplies last for this stuff. Okay. And then, like I said, next Monday, this is what we'll be talking about, um, joining Stampin' Up!, being a demonstrator, why it's such a great deal. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, bring those next Monday. I will be here to answer all your questions live. This is really the best chance um, if there's any burning questions that you've really been wanting to know about. Now's the time um, to ask those questions when we talk about this next Monday, okay? Um, but really, honestly, being a demonstrator is the best deal you're going to get with Stampin' Up. So if you love Stampin' Up and you love to save money, that is your best bargain. Okay, so today's project, I have it here, hold on one second, is this adorable little birthday gift bag is what I'm calling it. I saw something that Sam Hammond, um, she's a UK demonstrator, her name's Poodles Paper Craft, I think is her blog, or Poodles, um, but she made something, she called it a table favor bag, but I changed it and redesigned it with the birthday stuff, and I'm calling it a birthday bag. And the cool thing about this is you can actually, it's big enough to fit a gift card inside. So I thought that was really, really cool. So you can put a bunch of candy in here and slide a little gift card in there and it fits in there perfectly. So I'm gonna show you how to make these and you can get two bags out of one piece of cardstock, which is really cool. So I have a piece that's already scored and I'm just gonna show you how to do a little bit more scoring. All the dimensions will be on my website um, after the project posts. And when we, we actually did this in my class, so I had um, the stars or the spots from that beautiful, actually, I should show you guys that paper, duh. I have mostly spots left, so that's probably what we'll do on today's card. Um, but my original project uses these stars. And you can do the front and the back or just do the front. It's up to you how finished you want it to look or if you want it to, maybe you want to save paper and just do it on the front. That's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. So we're going to use spots. Um, but yeah, don't worry about jotting everything down but i can tell you real quick what this so this is five and a half by eight and a half so half a piece of cardstock and i have it scored at one four five and eight so there's a little half inch piece so one four five and eight and then you rotate it and score it down at one inch very very easy right so then what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and a pencil And so with that half inch flap to the right hand side, we want the bigger section on our left hand side here. We're gonna measure at half an inch, make a little pencil mark. And then at four and a half inch, we're gonna make another little pencil mark. So where those wider sections are basically. Then you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna line it up with that pencil mark and where that little score line is. I'll do my best to do this with a camera over my head. That's always hard. <laughs> and then you're going to take your bone folder and you're just going to press that down and score it. Now, if this gets a little messed up or it's not perfect, it's not a big deal because you're just using this to make the little creases on the side of your bag easier and more crisp to do. So like I said, if it's not perfect, it's not a big deal. It's going to be in those little flaps. Nobody's really going to see it. So I wouldn't stress about it too much. It's just to make it a little bit easier to press those in. Like mine's kind of wonky looking, but that's okay. It will all come together. So where that point is, down to that horizontal score line, just use that bone folder, make a little crease, a little score. 
and we'll do one more here. Oops, see, and that came apart, but that's no problem. And so you don't have to worry about pushing those in or anything. We're really just doing that when we get that bag going. We'll push them in once we get it put together a little bit more, okay? Let me get that paper real quick. I wanna show you that paper. All right, so this is part of this designer series paper sale right now. So this bright and beautiful, it's normally $12.50. It's on sale for $10 and 60, excuse me, 62 cents. Um, you've got bright and beautiful, countryside in, delightfully eclectic, earth and elegance, fresh as a daisy, glorious gingham, hello irresistible, which is one of the online exclusives, inked botanicals, the Le Shops, Let's Go Fishing, Masterfully Made, Stargazing, and the Zoo Crew. All of those are on sale, okay? So in this, this is one of the six by six packs, the bright and beautiful paper. You get all this gorgeous paper with the different patterns. This has a bunch of stars and that lemon lolly. This is kind of like an ombre with the berry burst and some, some stripes. And then some little like rainbow triangles on the back there. Those little spots that we're doing and then some stripes on the back. Oh, these are pretty. It's like that bubble bath color and then the little bubbles on the front, very pretty. And then, oh, I like this one too. It's that um, lemon lime twist. And then it's got like this herringbone rainbow pattern on the front, it's very fun. And then this is, looks like pretty peacock, maybe Lost Lagoon towards the bottom. And then these cool lemon lime twist circle patterns, very pretty. And then, oh, this is Lost Lagoon. And then those little rainbow squiggles, <laughs> I guess is probably the best way to describe it. Squiggles. And then some blue. I like how they have all the ombre patterns and the different colors. Ooh, and then these would be good for 4th of July or um, cards for the troops with the, the blue stars on the front. That would be really pretty. And then more blue. This is that azure afternoon. And then on the back, there's some... Looks like berry burst and maybe azure afternoon with like confetti pattern. And then this one, I love this one with the stripes, the diagonal stripes, and then more um, berry bursts on the back. So those are the different patterns in that paper. Like I said, it's six by six um, and it's on sale. So now is a great time to get that. All right, so now we're gonna fold on all of our score lines here, on all of our horizontal score lines, not our angled score lines. Like I said, you don't worry about scoring on those. Those are just to make it easier to make our little gussets later. And then here, okay. And then we're gonna take our scissors and this little tab here, we wanna cut that away and make a little angle. So that's on the little, the shorter um, panel here. And we're just gonna cut that away, okay. And before I put my box together, I'm going to put my paper on. So we're just gonna put those on those bigger panels, just like that. Get some. All right, so I'm using Stamp and Seal Plus. You can use liquid glue, whatever you're com comfortable with. And like I've said before, um, if you live in like a hot, humid climate like I do here in Florida, I highly recommend using Stamp and Seal Plus rather than just regular Stamp and Seal because it's a little bit stronger. And when you have that humidity, your projects are likely to come apart if you don't have a good strong hold on something. Um, so that's why I like to use Stamp and Seal Plus on all my stuff. All right, so we put those on. Now we're gonna put some tear and tape right here. 
on this short panel off to the side. I'm just gonna put a strip of tear and tape. Like I said, easy peasy. This will be done in a few minutes. Nothing to it. I'll reinforce that with my bone folder. And then I'm gonna take my little spatula end here and remove that backing. All right. And then we're just gonna take this little panel here. Actually, yep, yeah. no. <laughs> Where the tear and tape is, that's the bottom. I don't know why I got so confused by that all of a sudden. And then you're just gonna line that up over the tear and tape just like that. So now you have your little box and your little ends here. So for the ends, oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot to tell you guys to, you gotta cut up these little panels to the score line. Duh, I don't know why I forgot that step. Well, luckily it's not too difficult to do at this point either. But before you put it together, you have to cut up until you get to the horizontal score line. So now that I have all my little flaps, we'll put the center ones in and then you put your bottom down and then your top. So you can put some more tear and tape or stamp and seal plus, whatever you're comfortable with. I'll just put a little bit of tear and tape here. And put one, two pieces. I probably should have put that. Uh, one's fine. Should have put more than that, but that's all right. All right. I don't know why I forgot to do that. <laughs> so weird. Oh, goodness. All right. And then you're just going to put that down. You can use you know, your little bone folder to put it in place, make sure it's good to go. So now with these little gussets on the side, you're just gonna use your fingers and kind of pinch those in. It just makes it easily fold in. That's really all you did that for. And you can kind of play with it and push it down as far as you want to. But all that was was to really just make it give that crisp gusset at the top there. So, all right, so now we're gonna make our little tag before we finish putting everything together. And I actually got some, a huge bag of Jolly Ranchers. I liked all the colors. Um, I thought they really matched really well with birthday and paper. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of Jolly Ranchers in mine. Um, most people I know love Jolly Ranchers. So I'm just gonna fill those up. I think watermelon might be my favorite. Do you guys have a favorite Jolly Rancher flavor? Oh, and that's getting pretty full. That's probably good. That's, that's pretty hefty. My granddaughter's birthday is coming up, so I'll probably give her one of these and maybe put like a little $5 bill or something in there. She loves to go to Five Below, I've told, I've been told. <laughs> That's her favorite thing is to go to Five Below and get little toys. So um, I'll probably put like a little $5 bill in there with some candy and give it to her. I think she'll love that. All right, so for our little tag here, we are going to use the, where did I put them? Been doing so much stuff here. I had my dies out two seconds ago. Isn't that always how it goes? And I can't find anything. Um, okay, I will find them. Here's our stamp set that we're using. And I had the dies that go with them. What did I do with them? Come on, Jen. Get your stuff together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I seriously was just using them two seconds ago. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, here they are. They're buried under something. So these are the beautiful balloons dies that go with the stamp set. This is a bundle. Um, the bundled savings is always the best because you get 10% off. Watermelon's gross. You're crazy, Case. I don't know if I like grape, though. It's kind of gross. <laughs> oh, green apple, maybe? That's kind of a good one, too. All right, so this little tag die here is what we're going to use. And as you can see, you can't see um, in the middle. It doesn't die cut like an open section. So we're going to die cut this, and then we're going to stamp it. My mom tried to stamp it. I'm calling you out, Mom. I love you, but it was pretty funny. She tried to stamp it, and then she was like, oh... If you put this over it, you can't see it. But I do have her attempt to do it. Oh, it came out pretty good. She tried to line it up. It was pretty close. We probably could have worked with that. But 
that's why you go to die cut and then stamp is because you're not going to be able to see when you put the die cut over it. <laughs> I just kind of said, here's the bag, make it. You guys figure it out. And she didn't realize the die was like that. So, all right. So we're actually going to do the little dryer sheet technique here where we put our, um, our, um, sandwich down and then I'm just taking regular old bounce dryer sheets. I'm just going to grab a dryer sheet here and the wax from these dryer sheets helps to grab the little pieces in um, the paper. So when we go to die cut all these little pieces, I should be able to just pull this tag off and all these little um, pieces will stay and then I don't have to worry about picking all of them off. So that is the goal here. That's the whole point. <laughs> Let's just try to do that. So let me cut this little piece here. All right, so we're gonna try. So you're gonna put your paper, so you're gonna put your dryer sheet down first, and then you're gonna put the paper over the dryer sheet, and then you're gonna put your die on top of it, and then your other cutting plate. So let's see if I can do this without the die moving off the paper. There we go. And the idea, like I said, is that wax from the dryer sheet will pick up all those little pieces and you'll just be able to pull it right off the paper. So there's my die. Everything came right out of the die. You don't have any little pieces stuck in there. And now for the big reveal here, I'll move this stuff to the side. So now you can see, you can pull this off. That's all gonna come off. So we're just gonna grab a little corner here. I'll grab the little picky part, that'll be easier. So you're just gonna grab like a corner here of the die. If I can get it to come off the dryer sheet, it's all stuck, there we go. So we'll do it from the top here and you just slowly pull it off and look, that all came out of that die. So that's an easy way if you don't wanna sit there. I mean, this one's not so bad because it doesn't have a ton of little pieces but they are really small and all that wax just held all of those little pieces in there. So you don't have to worry about sitting there and poking them all out. So that's a quick, easy way to do that um, where you don't have to worry about messing with those little pieces and having everything get stuck all over the place, okay? I love that dryer sheet method. And then, like mine smells like clothes now. <laughs> it smells like, what's this? Outdoor fresh. So that's what my tag is gonna smell like now. <laughs> it smells pretty good actually. All right, so now we're gonna take, I just grabbed a bunch of different ink pads that go with the paper. There's Misty Moonlight, Berry Burst, and Lost Lagoon. I think I'm gonna do Berry Burst for this one. For my original one, I used uh, Misty Moonlight, but I'm gonna use Berry Burst here. And we just have the stamp. I already have it on a block that says Happy Birthday, so I'm gonna ink that up. And we're just gonna stamp it right there in the middle. Just like that, okay. And then I have a little hole punch here. So this part is a little tricky because you have a lot of paper here, but you just take your hole punch and try as best you can to punch between the two layers here to make little holes for our ribbon. So I have two little holes there. And then I have, this trim is so pretty, it's from, uh, these are online exclusives as well. These are the gold and silver one eighth inch trim combo pack. So this is online exclusives. This is only online. You won't be able to find it in store or in the catalog. I mean, in stores, <laughs> we don't have a Stampin' Up store, but you can use gold or silver. I like the gold a lot with this stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to stick with gold, but you can use whichever one you like here. And what I did is I just threaded it from the back or from the front around to the back here. So we're gonna go through. And actually, if you take a piece that's about 18 inches or so, that should be plenty. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off of here. Do 18. That way I don't have to fuss with the roll there. And because it's an eighth of an inch and it's pretty narrow, it's pretty easy to go through those little um, hole punches here. Do. All right, 
go. So through one side, now we're gonna wrap it around, come through the front. And you can always use your little pokey thing too if you want to. My nails are too big sometimes and it makes it a pain to thread this stuff. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. And sometimes if you fold it in half, that helps too. It helps you get it through that little hole. So has anybody been watching any good shows or have anything? We're excited because a lot of our shows are finally starting to come back on. We've been watching like old movies and stuff and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, where are all of our shows? We go through stuff really quickly. Yes, the silver and gold would be really good for Christmas. So since it is an online exclusive, I would say get it now so that you have it for Christmas time because I wouldn't be surprised if this stuff sells out before Christmas. So I'm just making, I just tied my ribbon like in a little loop and then I'm going to tie a knot after I put this tag in here. I'll tie a little knot and then that'll make it easier to tie my bow. Just like that. Okay. We'll do our bow here. And this ribbon, because it's got, because it's metallic, it's got a lot more um, give to it. So you can kind of play with it and shape it a lot easier than some of the other ribbons we have. And I like to leave it kind of big. That way, if I need to open it back up and retie it, I have a lot to work with there. So I'm just going to leave that just like that in case I decide to open it and stick money in it later for my granddaughter. So, but look how cute and quick and easy. And like I said, because it's half a sheet of cardstock, you can get two out of one piece of cardstock and have them ready to go for when you need to gift them. So, all right, guys. Well, that is all I have today. Um, oh, I do want to do a little show and tell before I get off of here. My mom made me this really cool bin. It's like a trash bin. And I thought it was really neat. I guess she made one for my sister too. And my sister said, you know you got to make one of those for Jen because I'm obsessed with coffee, especially Starbucks coffee. Here, let me turn the camera around real quick. Oh, Casey didn't get hers yet, Mom. I thought she got hers already. That's why. <laughs> so, okay, Case, don't look, I guess. Mom hasn't given you yours, but it's like a little trash bin on the top here. Super cute. And it has Starbucks coffee. And then on the back, she put a yawn is just a silent scream for coffee. So very, very cute. Well, I thought you wanted me to share it, Mom. So you should have told me she hasn't seen it yet. She's always on here. But it's very cute. It's like the perfect little trash bin for me. So I love it. It's very cute. All right. Well, I, that's all I have for today. Like I said, don't forget about Wednesday um, with the free shipping. And you'll earn a free gift from me as long as you use that host code. Um, Wednesday is also the beginning of a big stamp and storage week long sale. So every day there will be doorbusters for different products. So be sure to check, um, stampcampwithjen.com for all that information as well. And if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for, um, my blog posts go directly to your inbox and then you don't have to worry about going back later and checking my website all the time. It'll just go right to your email. Um, you just hit that little subscribe button on my website and you can subscribe to my newsletter and or my blog posts um, and you get all that information sent right to you, okay? I do send a newsletter every Friday morning um, with lots of information in there as well. And once a month I send a um, exclusive newsletter tutorial um, where all my newsletter subscribers get a free project tutorial. So that's really fun too. So, all right guys. So like I said, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to join me next Monday with your questions about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you need any of the supplies, please shop with me. I hope you enjoyed today's project. It's lots of fun. Um, I really thought it turned out pretty cute and I love anything that has candy and money and gift cards. <laughs> Lots of candy. Candy is always good. So, all right, guys. Well, until next time, be safe. Thanks for joining me and happy stamping. Bye-bye.